run two v two with who would it be? Drake. Uh, just, I was just trying to get out there. I mean, I've, I left New York the day after, and I've been in Phoenix since then. So just try to get uh, comfortable with where I was going to be. Uh, oh, um, Brianna Stewart, John Quayle Jones, um, Sabrina, and, and, um, and, um, Vandersloot. Katie, what city needs an NBA team? That doesn't matter, right? Seattle. What are you naming it? Sonics. Yeah, I feel like I can um, be asked to do a multitude of things, so I just got to be prepared for it, you know, try to build my game up to be versatile and, um, you know, so whatever coach needs me to do, I'm willing to do. Um, there's a lot of players that inspire me, but I just I think that O three class of like Melo, Brian, uh um D Wade, um I was a freshman in high school when they came out, so that was a significant time in my life and I looked up to those guys a lot. When you started playing against them? Um, yeah, just yeah, just I wanted to compete harder against them, you know, because I followed them for so long. I wanted to to pr show and prove and gain that respect from them, so I felt like I did that. Um, winning the championship in uh, 2017 and 2018. I just, I, I just think that's a narrative that come with. I don't think people watch the Phoenix Suns enough to say that, you know. And we got a couple guys back in this trade, but also signs Ter Terrence Ross as well. So. Um, I, I, once our team gets whole, we'll figure out what we are and see see what needs the holes needs to be plugged in. But the easy thing is to say right now we don't have a bench. Uh, I love America. I love where I come from. I love where I love that the game is you know bought me so much, afforded me so much. So I try to represent everybody I grew up with and. Everybody in our country, so it's, yeah, it's important to me. And I don't know, I don't know. I haven't thought about too much of it this summer, and we'll see. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, yeah, most definitely. I think he, I think he still has the talent to play in our league. Say it again. Uh, probably Ja right now. He probably got the best one. Uh, Drake, Beyonce, Rihanna. What you got? What you got, Jose? Bro, I'm sick. I'm I'm mad. I got to deal with your ass even more. You say it again? <laughs> uh, I I, wanna, I wouldn't I wouldn't tell you. Uh, if you're locked in enough, um, it can happen pretty fast. We've got veteran players that know how to play the game and know different terminologies. So I think, you know, we put our mind to it, it can happen pretty quickly. Um, um, probably my first one. Uh, yeah, um, I want to reach perfection. You know, I know I'll never reach it, but I guess just trying to get there every day is is, is good enough. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm in competition with myself, just trying to be the best version of me every day. Um, sometimes you don't reach that, but you know, it's 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 fun competing with yourself that way. I, I can't hear you. Say it again. 
Uh, Ransom, 38 Spash, Drake. Come on, bro. Huh? Oh, shit, I mean, it's going to be incredible. You see already, uh, last game they played together, they lost, but um, they were down 20 in fourth quarter. They both came, came out there and, you know, Kyrie had 26 in the fourth, and Luka hit some big shots. So it's going to be like that. It's going to be tough to guard them. Best trash talker? Um, probably D book, but I haven't really got on the court right to, to see to hear all the little stuff they saying. But from playing against them, D book D book probably is the best talker. If you were in a zombie apocalypse, which one of your teammates would you bring with you? DeAndre Ayton. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, size always matters in our game, and I feel like all the biggest teams had an advantage. And, yeah, you're starting to see more teams from this, from their point guard down to their center, 6'6", six, six to, you know, seven feet to the center, you know. So I, I just think just to cover more ground, you need more athletic and bigger guys, and the skill level has gone up in our league, so you need more size too. So it's all, it's all good for the game, I think. The league, uh, the game of basketball has taught me discipline and dedication, hard work, and um, I, that's, that's pretty much all I can say. No. I ain't even thinking about the all season. There's a lot <laughs> that goes into that, and uh, nah, I'm not even thinking about that. It's not even on my radar. Yeah, I would call Brandon Ingram young no more, but I feel like we got the same body types and we score from the same areas of the floor. Um, I would say him, but I wouldn't call him young no more. I feel like he's a vet in the league now. Um, I don't know. I think we all got our own unique and different games now. I feel like a lot of skilled players that bring in their own twist to the game, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anybody. Love to play. I mean, shit, that's the you know, playoffs is the most important part of the season. You know, I think all great players enjoy the the playoffs. So, um, I feel like that's when you really come alive is when that those moments you know arise. You know, as you get later in the playoffs. Nah, just do the same stuff. Um, just keep working the same way. Um, nothing extra. Say it again. Oh, yeah, most definitely. You bring m myself over here, Kyrie over here. You got a lot of trades of small pieces that help. You got Trey Murphy over here interrogating me right now. What's up, brother? Uh, I'm going to go with you. Don't disappoint me, bro. All right. I got you. Uh, his IQ for the game. I think his... Um, yeah, enthusiasm for the game. I think that goes underrated. CP really loves ball. You know, he just like watching the game, like analyzing, um, like going through strategy and stuff. So I've been in a uh, been a week there now, a couple practices, a few games, and he always pulling me to the side and we just talking hoop. You know, so I love that about him. And um, you know, he's you know, but obviously on the floor he can create so much for his teammates and for himself. It's only gonna help us. <laughs> I don't remember getting picked last ever. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's yeah. It's times you play, you, you wanted to play with the older guys, and they wouldn't let you play, and and, and you know, and you just you know, everybody heard, heard that story before. And you just want to get out there and prove yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, in this setting, like you being picked last really is not saying like that you wanted to. You know, it's still one of the. It's like the. Richest million, I mean, the brokest millionaire getting picked. I seen that on Twitter. Somebody said the last pick is like the brokest millionaire. So, yeah, it don't matter, man. I guess as long as you're out there on the floor. 
Say what? Uh, seven was retired in Phoenix. I wanted to keep seven, but Kevin Johnson's such a great player that he got it up in the rafters. So the only other number I know is 35. Start my phone, bench my um, game, and cut my laptop. 2K. Yeah, the new Warzone map just dropped the the resurgence. I'm gonna check that out too. Uh, I haven't. No, nah, probably not. Probably not. Dirt. Uh, enjoy the moment. I enjoy the moment. Everything's gonna happen pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I do. I had enough of Dave on the sideline asking questions in the virtual world. So yeah, of course I skip it. <laughs> um, a lot of ransom and thirty-eight special. That's about it. Oh, it means a lot. I mean, um, I always want to be respected by the greats in the game for my for my game and my abilities, and you know that says it all right there. And, you know, so I get love from the greats wherever I see them, especially in this weekend. It's good to see all the former NBA players and current NBA players, and it's just number love and respect that you know it shows. So um, that that means the world to me that I'm amongst those. You know, I can get close to the top ten. Um, my mom. Appreciate that. Riz, explain that. Oh, how player I am? A 10. Uh, There's a lot of threats in the West. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of th I feel like it's, you never know who can call off and, and win the West with so many deep teams. You know, from 1 to 8, well, 1 to 10, it's a lot of deep teams. So we'll see. Just grateful, you know. I just it's a um, we put a lot of work into those shoes. It's a big representation of who I am as a person. So for somebody to be representing me like that, it feels pretty cool. Nah, not at hell. Nah, <laughs> nah. That's some. Nah, I don't think so at all. I don't know. I don't know. My knee feels solid though. Um, got a couple more days before um, you know games and stuff so I'm just trying to you know figure it out with the training staff to see what the best option is yes yes it was electric in there it's just from a press conference that you know and, and then you know when I went to the last couple of games the I got two standing ovations. Like I, I just felt like I didn't deserve none of that yet because I got a hoop first. But I know it's going to be electric in there when I decide to play that first time. And um, hopefully, I'm not too nervous. Just had so many deep, so many tough games with them. No matter what their record was, I felt like every time you went in there, it was going to be a battle. And um, it's been an up and down since I've been in the league. Up and down tenure for. For Phoenix, they start, you know, Steve Nash in that era was pretty good, and then you know they went young, and now they're trying to get back to that. We're trying to get back to that mountaintop. So um, I feel like I have I've been through a lot of battles in Phoenix, and luckily I'm on a home team now. He don't have no team success, and they number one in the West. It's, that was his. That was his narrative. That his he was missing a couple guys. That's why he got MVP. I mean, he playing like an MVP. So I, I feel like seven or eight dudes can get it. So it's like at this point, you close your eyes and pick any one of these dudes, and they become MVP. So it's it's based off really like who you like as a as a person. To be honest, I think that plays a huge factor in it. So all these numbers are MVP numbers, and like I said, five or six guys could become an MVP. So I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Jokic just won. Nah, not at all. I feel like I've been playing at that level though for since I've been in the league. So regardless, I get rewarded for it. It don't matter. Did you say something about LeBron and LeBron's game that you have to compete against him to fully appreciate? 
I think everybody appreciates LeBron and what he brings to the table and his they I think we know his game inside and out. Um playing against him you don't realize how strong and fast he is and I think that something that may fly under the radar a bit is that his athleticism is once in a lifetime and a generation I don't think it'll ever be duplicated again so um that's something you can't really get a feel for through the TV um uh, just the, the force and power he plays with uh, is special uh somebody asked me who's the greatest Europe player just a couple of minutes ago and I think uh, I said Dirk but I think Luca is on his way to doing that as well and um, he just he's such a talented talented player that can that can control the whole game you know so uh, it's it's going to be fun to see where he ends up on the all-time list I don't think it's bad for the league. It's bringing more eyes to the league. More people are more excited. The tweets that I got and the 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 news hits that we got from me being traded, Kyrie being traded, just bring more attention to the league and that's really what makes you money is when you get more attention. So um I think it's great for the league to be honest. Teams been trading players and making acquisitions for a long time. Now when a player can, you know, uh kind of dictate where he wants to go and leaving free agency or demand a trade is just part of the game now. So I don't think it's a bad thing. It's bringing more and more excitement um, to the game. No.